Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the straight line depreciation example. This is our first example that we're working on. So let's get started. If you're new, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn. Where we're in the financial accounting chapters, we're in long-term assets. So I've got articles, videos, playlists, everything. So what do we do for straight line depreciation? The basic formula for straight line is cost minus salvage value divided by the useful life. So we're going to work one problem and it's going to be simple. We're going to assume the very first year is a full year. So what we mean by that is we're going to assume it's purchased exactly on the very first day. You get a full 12 months. So therefore it's a real simple problem without any adjustment. So let's just say, assume here that our cost is 475,000. Our useful life is five years. And at the end of five years, it will have a salvage value or residual value of 25,000. So here's what our formula looks like. Our formula looks like 475,000 minus 25,000 divided by five. So let's calculate how much depreciation do we have each year. So start with parentheses, 475 minus the 25,000. Close the parentheses, divided by five years. So we're talking about $90,000 is our annual depreciation. Now, let me remind you, just be careful. Make sure that the date purchased is at the very beginning of the year. Because if it's purchased on July 1st, for example, then you have to adjust that first year, 90,000 times six months over 12 or like half a year. But we don't have to worry about that because we made a simple little um, problem where we have a full year. We have a full year for 2025. So our depreciation expense is 90,000. And to make it absolute, I wanna copy that 90,000 down. I'm gonna put dollar sign C, dollar sign 17. And so I'm going to copy this down. So each year we have a $90,000 depreciation expense. So over the five years, how much depreciation do we have? The sum, I can do all this together. The sum is $450,000. Now there's a shortcut. If you want to add something up and you're in Excel, if you're on Windows, it's Alt and Equals. I'm on a Mac, so it's Command Shift T, and it gives me the formula. You see the formula here for the sum of C22 to C26. That has everything here, the 90,000, five times. Now, typically you don't have to do this little chart, but it really is helpful to understand how this works. So what is our accumulated depreciation each year? By the way, what is accumulated depreciation? Accumulated depreciation is a contra account. We're gonna make the journal entry. In fact, let's make the journal entry right now. For year one, what is the journal entry to record depreciation expense? Well, it's gonna be 90,000 is depreciation expense and accumulated depreciation, 90,000. So that's our first journal entry and we'll make that same entry at the end of 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. We'll make that entry five consecutive years. We're trying to allocate the cost of that asset over its life. We're not trying to figure out the value. So it's a cost allocation problem, not a value estimation problem. Okay, so the 450,000 is our total depreciation expense. That is our depreciable base. This is the numerator on top of the, the formula here, on top of the fraction. So what is our accumulated depreciation every year? Our accumulated depreciation starts at 90,000. And then after year two, we'll take the preceding 90 plus this year's 90, we're at 180. One more and we'll be able to copy it down. 180 plus the 90. And now we're just gonna copy it down. We, we know the pattern, you see how this works. So it goes 90, 180, 270, 360, and 450. Our total depreciation, our total depreciation base is 450,000. So what happens to our book value? The book value is the amount on the balance sheet for this equipment. 
So we start at 475,000. So let me grab that number. 475, I'm going to make it an absolute number, so dollar signs, minus the accumulated depreciation. So after year one, our depreciation is 90,000, our accumulated depreciation is 90,000, and our book value, it's on the balance sheet at 385,000. And we can copy this all the way down, and at the end of five years, we've depreciated 450,000 down to a book value of 25,000. So that's how you work a problem with straight line depreciation. It's more than just figuring out the depreciation expense. So what I've done is ask a couple of questions you might have in your class if you're working on financial accounting or a principles of accounting course. Your professor, your teacher might ask you, say, well, what is the year two depreciation expense? Well, year two depreciation expense is 90000 Now, if you had a partial year, remember if you purchased the, the asset maybe on July 1st, then you have six months. If you purchase it on October 1st, then you have three months left. So year one depreciation would be different than year two depreciation. Here, all five-year depreciation expense would be the same. What is the accumulated depreciation at the end of year three? Well, one, two, three, the accumulated is going to be 270000 And what is the book value at the end of year four? It's going to be 115000 So you can answer these types of questions if you work out that chart and really understand what's going on. Sometimes your professor will ask you questions like this to make sure you really understand what depreciation expense is and what accumulated depreciation is and then what is book value. All right, so in the next video, we'll show you a partial year and do straight line depreciation on a, another problem. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.